Okay, anyway, let's go over uh, same we did before, right? So we're gonna try to go really fast because it's gonna take three hours otherwise, and I'm getting tired. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go over this really fast. So artifact set stats when to pick. Okay, uh, we won't do every tier because like who cares about the last last tiers? But we'll do S to B, S to B, and then that's it. Okay, um, Karina, I can show you my teams, my units every time here, which is gonna be nice. Uh, where is it? So first, Karina, here is mine. 180 plus speed, at least 17 KHP, at least 2.5k defense, at least 100 ER. If you can go immunity, go for it. If you can't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, artifact, you want this one, or if you don't have it, you want Noble Oath. Yes. If you go Noble Oath, you don't go counter. Very important. If you have this artifact, you go counter. If you can't, if you don't have this artifact, you go Noble Oath, and then you go either Speed Set or Triple Set. What's that line do I want with Noble Oath, Karina? Um, more defense. Because you don't go counter on Noble Oath, right? So you can go Speed Set or Triple Set, which means you can go more defense. So you want like around 3k defense, I'd say. When to draft, every single time your opponent plays aggro. Like if your opponent want to kill you very fast, you go Karina. She's gonna she's gonna fuck them up. Yeah, like that, that, that's about it. She's really strong. Like she gives you a big shield, she cuts, she deals insane damage on the street. If your opponent doesn't have an immunity buffer, she's gonna defense break too. She's insanely strong. And she's really good into Adin, she's really good into MLV. She's really good into APOC if your opponent doesn't have an immunity buffer. And that's about it. Um next, Spectre. Artifacts options, um, book. like don't go anything else. I don't think anything else is very good. You have a lot of Spectre builds, like I'll be honest, you have a lot of Spectre builds. So your options are um, Lifesteal, Destruction, Speed Set. A speed Set is the worst option, like let's be real. Um, destruction or Lifesteal are best. And then for stats, if you play slow, I think you want a very tanky Spectre. So at least 10k HP, at least 1.4k defense. Otherwise, you're gonna get one tap. Ideally, you want more. Those are the stats for life steal. So life steal 10k, 1.4k. This is minimum. For speed, at least 175. Like at least 175. Slower than that, you're way too slow. Like you're gonna get lapped through. The, like you're gonna get lapped way too much. At least 175 speed. You don't need to be as fast as me though. Like this is too fast. You want 175 to 185, I would say. So yeah, you don't need effectiveness, you don't need ER. Uh, speed 175 to 185, 10k, 1.4k. If you play on destruction, you go at least 12k HP, at least 1.5k defense, and then you want damage. So as much as you can, yeah, like with those stats. Uh, it's gonna take some trials and error though, like don't, those are my ideas for stats try it out yourself right see how it feels if you feel like you have too much bulk which is possible you reduce some bulk to give them more damage if you have if you feel like you're missing damage same idea like yeah but like this this for me is a sweet sweet spot and like if you go destruction and you go more bulk and a bit more damage but um, more bulk first like don't just go full damage you do want more bulk uh, when to draft specter I'll be honest, I don't draft Spectre a lot. Um, my main draft for Spectre is when I first pick LRK, my opponent goes End Guy plus APOC. Very often I'll go Mate plus Spectre. If Mate is free ban and I don't have an attack buffer, I won't go Spectre because I don't think Spectre is good without attack buffer. I think she does no damage at all. So yeah, but if I do get LRK made into End Guy APOC, I'll usually go Spectre third pick. I think it's fairly safe. And I, yeah, I like immunity a lot too, personally, but you don't have to, but I like immunity a lot. But if you don't like it, then you go like three chance, uh, yeah, like you can do three chance set or defense set or else set. Oh yeah, and you go three chance snake, like don't go anything else, you go three chance snake. Like you don't, you go three chance snake. Don't cop, go three chance snake. Better now. Artifacts options, Sigurd, everything else sucks, go Sigurd. Uh, sets, you can go Counter, or you can go Injury, or you can go Destruction. I don't like Destruction personally, but it's an option. So, Counter, Injury, Destruction. Uh, you go Crit Damage Deck, you don't have much of a choice. Uh, ring, whatever you want, you go Speed Boots. For Speed, you can go anywhere from 140 
five, I think. Like I think she's like 100 base speed. So 140 or so speed to like you always go speed boot. So 140 or so speed to 170. I wouldn't go above 170. I think stats is much better after that. If you want ER, you go like 80 ER, but only go ER if you play her with maid, otherwise don't bother. It's too much gear score. If you play her with maid, you go 80 ER, it's really good. And then for stats, um, I would say ideally for counter, like so for me, for my build, I want 3.4k attack and 250 crit damage. So I'm trying to change her boots. Like I don't want crit damage here. I want 3.4k attack. 250 crit damage, more defense, and more HP. Like, I think the best bulk for her is like 2k defense and 17k HP. So yeah, since you heal a lot, obviously since you're on Seagirl, you want more defense than HP, I believe. And yeah, you want very high bulk. Like the main thing, the main reason you're gonna lose with Bellona is because you will die. As long as she's alive, you can win the game. Like it sounds dumb, but that's basically it. If she leaves, you win. If she leaves, you win. Like that's her win condition. Win living. She is like she she has insane damage baseline. Baseline. She scales really well. She takes turn by herself because because of her S2. She's, if she's on counter, she takes even more turns because when she gets attacked, she's gonna counter. You just want to survive. What's the ideal crit damage if you want less than okay? Um, for crit damage, I usually calculate how much uh, ideal crit damage to attack ratio. Uh, for 3.4k attack, it's 250 crit damage. So yeah, for me, I want 3.4k to, to, to 250. If you will, if you will at like, 230 crit damage, and you can lower your attack a bit. So you go like 230 crit damage to 3.2k attack. But I don't think you should go much lower. Like from playing her, I feel like 3.4k 250 is as low as you can really go. Then you're gonna be really low on damage. Gonna be a bit awkward. But 3.4k 250, you still do very good damage. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Like keep in mind, you're on Sigurd. You still like you want to heal yourself. You want damage. If you do no damage, you're not gonna heal yourself. So yeah, keep that in mind. Like that's the thing with you need that life steal. You still want damage. Like staying alive is very important, obviously. But you still uh, damage helps you still stay alive as well. Like you're gonna kill the unit, your opponent faster. You're gonna kill your opponent faster, and you're gonna um, you're gonna heal yourself a lot more. And yeah, she won't spend. Like pain is very is mandatory on her. It's too much damage to pass on. So that's it for Bellona. When to draft her? You mostly draft her into AOE, so like into Belay and stuff like that. So you won't draft. Like she's really good into she's good into Aria. Okay, let's let's see for, from the carries we have here. She's good into Karina, she's good into Spectre, she's good into Belaya, she's good into Solitaria to some extent, she's okay. She's good into Sermia, she's good into Aria, good into Senia, good into Charlotte, good, really good into Ed, good into Vivian, good into Lendi, uh, good into Pirate Flan, really good into Shu, okay into Valencia, really good into SSB, good into Carrot, she's okay into Lina, not insane, but okay. I think that's it. Anyway, so that's where she's good into, what, that's what she's good into, and she's weak to Rohana if your opponent is tanky. Unless you run injury, then she doesn't really matter. If you, if you run injury, you don't care about Rohana. If you're not on injury, then you need to be careful. If your opponent is tanky, then you, will, you, you won't win into Rohana. So she's weak to Rohana, she's weak to... A debuffer to some extent. She's pretty weak to adding. She's weak to L to LQC, and I think that's mostly. It. She isn't very good into. Yeah, obviously she isn't very good into LRK. I think that's it. Uh, Sally. Right. Artifacts for Selin. Uh, Sword Storm is mandatory in my opinion. You can do something else if you want, but I think Sword Storm is best in slot because if you don't go Sword Storm, you die to ML Lyca. Uh, so yeah, I think Sword Storm is mandatory. For speed, I would go at least to 30 speed, like mine is pretty bad. I would go at least to 30 speed, ideally more. Um, yeah, if you can go 230 to 250 speed on Life Steel, she's really good. Now, keep in mind she's getting buffed. We don't know exactly how much she's getting buffed. Uh, in the sense that she's getting more life steal. Like right now, she life steal 50% on S, uh, 20% on S1. We don't know how much more she's gonna life steal. 
if it's at least 30% or more after that, like it's 20% right now, if it's at least 30% or more after that, speed is gonna be best on her. Like you won't have to go life steal anymore, but you're gonna heal enough on speed set. So you, after that, you go speed set. If you, we can't go speed set after that, you go at least 250 speed. Like there's no reason to go slower than that. You, you're gonna do enough damage anyway, so... If she gets buffed that she get enough that she can be built on speed set, go 250 speed at least. Uh, personally, I'll build some ER on her because I like ER a lot. Like it, if I play Selin and I get sent by DJB, I tilt to another planet, so yeah. I'll build some ER, I'll build like 80 ER, but you don't have to. You don't have to, it's just me. But like ER on Selin is very missing, like you don't... You really really don't have to. The most, thing, like, most important is speed. Like 230 plus on life steal, 250 plus on speed. And sword storm, and then full damage. And pen set. Really good unit. Celine, she's really good into Opsig. She's really good into Strays. She's really good into Agro to some extent, but like depends on the team, obviously. She's really good into APOC. She's really good into ML Lyca. She's really good into all of those units. If your opponent doesn't have a, um, an opener that can control her, like Lua, like Celia, stuff like that. She's really good into all of those teams. She's like, she, she's gonna S3, you're never gonna die. She's good into Briseria too. Like, if your opponent goes like Briseria, ML Lyca, Strays, APOC, or even End Guy, and End Guy in the mix, you can pick her. You don't care about her revive. Like, her revive is really strong, don't get me wrong. It's really nice that you can revive your team, but she's also a 1v4 unit. She's also a 1v4 unit. Like, if, even if she can revive, if your opponent can kill her, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, she, she's gonna 1v4. So, yeah. She's really good into all of those. She's really bad into Spectre. She's really bad into uh, Landy. She's really bad into slower teams that are with, like, carry 9 search. And she's really bad into debuffers. Uh, next. Belayan. Uh, this is my Belayan. I quite like her. How many builds for Belayan? Three. So, Belayan. You can do Orius. Like with, this is the least popular build, but it exists, so I'll mention it. You can do Orius plus um, Protection Set. And you player, you first pick her into Cleave players that don't pre ban Belaya. Like when someone first pick like Politis or Spectre with no Belayan pre ban, they might be baiting Belaya, right? Because Belaya isn't that strong of a carry, let's be real. So they may be baiting Belaya. In which case, going for first pick Belayan, who's an Orius, is actually pretty strong. Uh, then you have injury build. So for injury, you go... I don't think you go... Okay, that's one thing for me. I don't think you go Elbris on injury. If you go injury, I think you go Sunglasses or Holy Sack. You go Immunity and you go 180 plus speed. 180 to 190 speed. 180 to 190 speed. Uh, 250 crit damage. No ER, no effectiveness. At least 23k HP. At least 1.3k defense. Like, if you go below that, you're coping a bit too much. <clears throat> but ideally, a lot more, obviously. And finally, counter. I think ER is very good right now because it prevents uh, ML Lyca. Like, sometimes, people are gonna go ML Lyca into Belayan. They're gonna be like, I don't care if I, I don't need to burn. Because I can just S2 her anyway. I'm gonna land. She doesn't have ER, but then I have ER, so they die. Yeah, I, I quite like it. <clears throat> you don't have to, but I like it. Especially if you go base speed. I think for counter, the best build is base speed. So with that in mind, it doesn't cost all that much to go here. And then, yeah, you just go full bulk, basically. Like, this is HP boots, this is HP ring, this is Christian snack. Just go full bulk. Is Destruction Cop? I don't think there's much of a point in Destruction. That's my main issue. Like, you're not going all that much with the extra damage. Destruction just doesn't really feed any, like... It doesn't really help against anything specific. It doesn't really help against anything specific. Okay, so yeah, the thing for Belayan, when do you pick her? You pick her against Spectre, you pick her against uh, Politis, like first pick Politis, nothing else, uh, and Spectre, and that's mostly it for counter. Yeah, like counter, very squishy teams, and Spectre. And for... Uh, what's it called? For injury, you can pick her into... Actually, I don't know. Into LRK Spectre, I guess. I don't know. I'm not very good at recommend. Like, I hate injury. I think it's garbage. So, 
Okay, uh, yeah, let's see if I'll do, let's see if I'll be like, yeah, let's move on. It's uh, too many units to go through, man. Let's just go ahead and just move on. Uh, where is he? Next, Sally. Okay, um, yes. Very good unit, she's been really strong this season. Uh, artifact, Sword Storm, everything else sucks, go Sword Storm. Um, <clears throat> set, uh, Destruction, Pen, or Speed Pen. Everything else sucks. At least 180 speed. Uh, it depends what you want to cut, you can go a lot um, Then you can, it depends what you want to cut, you can go really fast. You can go up to like 230, 250 speed maybe. I don't like it, but you can, it's not that bad. Uh, it just depends how you want to use her, right? For the way I want to use her, 180 speed is ideal. I cut most stuff, assuming my opponent press, which they never do anyway, but assuming they press, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut most stuff. And she goes after my mate still, which means if they don't press, mate can attack both her and then I can press the three. What's the minimum MCT for her? Um, I would say 3.5k attack, 250 crit damage. I wouldn't go lower than that. Like, you, you do need to do some damage still. So, yeah. 3.5k attack, 250 crit damage. I have no idea how much MCT it is, but yeah, something like that. And for bulk, it's really up to you. Like, it's really, really up to you. Like, I'll be honest, I... You can do zero bulk, full damage. I don't like it at all, but it's really up to you. You, you can do no bulk at all. Personally, I like bulk a lot, so... I went for this. And then it's gonna be, again, I can't really recommend you anything. Like, this is what I like best. Like, I had her a lot... Okay, for instance, before she was something like that. Uh, yeah, like she was something like that before. So, yeah, I had 200 more defense, but I felt like I was lacking a bit of the uh, a bit of uh, damage. Like, this is this is still above 9k, but like barely. And I felt like I was missing a bit of damage sometimes. So, it's really up to you, honestly. It's really up to you. Like, it's gonna be trial and error again. If, if you like Celine, want to build her. Go at least 180 speed, and then you try try things out. Try, try things out. Like maybe you want to go, to go more damage. Maybe you want to go faster. Maybe you want to go slower. Maybe you want to go more bulk. Maybe you want to go less bulk. It's really, it's go, it's really gonna be up to you. Uh, what she's good against? She's really good against um, Karina. I know if you play turn two, you're not gonna face Karina a lot, but she's really good into Karina. Uh, she's really good into she's good into Lua to some extent, like not insane, but she, as a late pick, she's really good into Lua. She's good into um, Aria, but again, it won't, have to, won't, won't happen much. She's really good into like what you're gonna pick her most into is like she's really good into DJB Pera. She's really really good into Pirate Flan. And she's really, really good into anything that um, that has two um, two non-attack skills. So, like, if someone goes like Peira, uh, End Guy, Lilias, they're gonna want to press, right? They're gonna want to press. They go Lilias, uh, Silias, DJB. They go uh, DJB, uh, DJB Lua. Like anything that has two non-attack skills, she gets a lot of value. Two non-attack skills, she gets a lot of value. Uh, what is this one? Uh, highest attack. If you want to play her against Celia, uh, uh, Celia, you can do stealth. Because if Celia press, then you're gonna do, go into stealth, and then you can guarantee that you can press the three. But otherwise, you go for highest attack. Anyway, um, yeah, she's going to all of those. Uh, don't pick. Okay, I'll be honest. I think she's really good, but I think she's one of the hardest you need to play. Like it's gonna sound fairly dumb, but. A lot of times you're gonna be like, yeah, Celine is insane here. Sometimes you're gonna pick her too late and then she's gonna get banned. Whereas earlier she would have been, she would have helped your draft a lot. She's a very strong unit, but she's really hard to draft. And she's really good against stuff like, sometimes stuff like Tomoka, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Tomoka, Lua, uh, Zahak, Pirate Flan, all of those. Like for instance of fairly frequent thing I do, if someone picks Pirate Flan into me, I'll go Adin plus Celine. Because what's a very common answer to Adin? It's the hack. But then they can't pick the hack anymore because I have Celine. I mean they can't, but then the hack can press uh, can press too, right? So it loses a lot of value. So yeah. Don't do that anymore now because now you lose to Karin. So yeah. 
Now you lose two carrying, but before I used to do that, it was really strong. But now if you do that, you're gonna get, uh, yeah, you're gonna get dicked by Karin, so don't do that. But yeah, she's really good against Laika, ML Laika, anything that wants to press non attack, basically. Do you need the bulk? I like it a lot, personally. I like it a lot. Because, okay, well, as I said, more often than not, you're gonna pick her into two non attack, two non attack units, right? So let's say a player against something like, um, Tomoka Lua, right? Tomoka Lua. Um, my opponent won't be able to press S3 with Tomoka. She's gonna go first. Tomoka is gonna S3 on my Celine, so Lua can press S3. But now I'm gonna survive, so Lua can press S3 either. And then I get a lot of value out of it. Same for um, Zahak plus something. Zahak is gonna S3 on Celine. She's gonna leave. Then next unit that would have wanted to press an attack still can. I play her against Pirate Flan. Pirate Flan is gonna S3 first turn every single time. But. I won't die. Like, I, everything's gonna take a turn, my sin is still gonna be alive. My girlfriend is gonna, uh, gonna take another turn, she's gonna have to press S1, and my sin will still be alive, so she will proc and then I'll win. You can build without bulk, but I, you, I think no bulk is for very aggressive players, which I know. Uh, that is for Celine, don't like, try her out. She's really good, but yeah. You honestly, when you start winning with Celine, you're gonna, at least for me, like I, I'm, I usually get really excited. I'm like, this is insane. And then I slam her every game because everyone plays non attack. And then you're gonna die because you don't, you, you shouldn't slam her every game. She's really strong, but again, she's hard to draft. If you pick her too early, you're gonna die to stuff like, um, you're gonna die to stuff like Roy and such. Like your opponent's gonna pick, uh, I attack, fire units, and then you're gonna be useless. So, yeah. Be careful. Uh, okay, next is Solitaria for 8 years. We went through it already, so yeah. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do it again. Ideally, you want something like that, but faster. You want like 15 more speed at least? Alright. Uh, yeah, Solitaria, sure. What else? What the fuck is my tier list? Okay, it's here. <clears throat> LC. Wait, honestly, should she even be B tier? I feel like she should be C tier. I'll put her city, I don't like LHC. Like, mine is on garbage gear right now. Because I don't, like, I think she's unplayable right now. She's not unplayable, but she's playable so very... Like, she's so rare that she's playable that it doesn't really matter what her gear is. Like, look at this, now. Like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? She, she, yeah, you almost never can pick her at this point. I've been running LHC, yeah, I know, but like, my issue is, can you really win with like a 150 speed LHC? Like, because you're gonna get one turn and that's it, no? Like, I know everyone is running that because that's the issue with LHC. If LHC doesn't get to S3 turn 1, you lose. Because you have no tempo whatsoever. So, people are running like 150 speed LHC, so Celia slap and S1 again. But then you need to win on the spot. Like, that's my issue. If you, you, you need to win on the spot, because your LHC is never gonna take another turn, man. Like she's gonna get to S3 once, and then Celia is gonna lap to another S3 before LHC gets to another turn. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, I just don't like LHC right now. Okay, so we'll, okay, we'll do, okay, melee. Okay, melee, best artifact, book. If you don't wanna go book, you can go for an artifact. It's really fun. It's really, really, really fun. I don't think it's best in sword, but it's really fun. And it makes her a lot better into Belaya. Uh, sets. Destruction is best by far. If you can go destruction, you can go lifesteal or counter. Both are okay. Uh, if you go counter, you go for this artifact for sure. If you go, uh, if you go lifesteal, so you go for this artifact for sure. If you go counter, you go for book. Yes. You go for book for sure. Like, ideally, I'll show you a very good milim, a tick as one. Like, uh, um, as far as damage is concerned, 4k attacks to like 250 crit damage is all that you need. You can go for more, but bulk takes priority. Bulk takes priority. Uh, then how to draft milim? Um, if you run destruction with a really high bulk, you can draft her into Lyca Landy, it's not bad. 
uh, into like LND, assuming you have a knight that's on Perlutia. Because then you give your melee immunity and a very big barrier, which means she is basically never ever ever gonna die. Outside of that, um, you can pick her into anyone that plays slow, assuming you don't have solid DDR. Like, it, it's way easier to go solid DDR, I'll be honest. If you can go solid DDR, you can just go medium surf pick, it's not that bad. It's not insane, but it's not bad. It's just gonna be a bit RNG because you're gonna face a lot of like Shoe Bellona. So yeah, be ready for that. Anyway, uh, counter set, you can do counter set. I don't, I don't like it, but you can. But yeah, she's very straightforward, I feel like. She just dropped her into ideally green unit. Like she's good into Valencia, she's good into Melendi. Uh, she's good into slow players because she doesn't really have any hard answers, basically. Uh, Roy, I don't have Roy. So Roy is a very good unit. Uh, you. He's really good into... He's a bit like SSV. Actually, he's a bit different, I guess. Okay, Roy is really good into low-tempo teams. He's really good into melee. He's really good into Lendy. No, I don't think he's really good into Lendy, actually. I think he's bad into Lendy. He's really good into melee. He's really good into Hypork. He's really good into MLV. He's really good into Adin. He's really good into anything that's not too high-tempo so that they can break his barrier, basically. And so for Roy, you go Lifesteal. <clears throat> you go Torrent. And then you go full damage. And for speed, you go 190 to... I think that's it. 190 to 200 speed. I wouldn't go slow, faster than that on Roy. And yeah, and you can go ER if you want, but you don't have to. Like, if I built mine, I would go ER as well. But yeah, for stats for Roy, I would say at least 4.5k attack, at least 300, uh, 300 crit damage, uh, at least 190 speed, and you go chatty. And yeah, just full damage, right? Like chatty and full damage. He's a very good unit. Uh, okay, then MLV. Alright. MLV for slow play is very different than MLV for fast play. So MLV for slow play. <clears throat> you go crit and snake. If you can, you go crit damage snake, that's fine. But ideally, you really want crit and snake. You go at least 180 speed. So 180 to 200 speed. 180 to 200 speed. Uh, actually, I should just show you on free, but it's easier. This is how you build MLV if you play slow. Uh, where do you pick MLV when you play slow? Honestly, you don't pick him much. Uh, I feel like you mostly pick him when you play Solid EDR. So when you play Solid EDR, he's a very, very, very good late pick fairly often. Because your opponent is very often going to go for stuff like... Okay, when you pick Solid EDR, it means your opponent went for two, two supports, one, two usually, right? Or at least one support and, one some, and something slow. So it means they're gonna be low tempo. So and low tempo and somewhat low damage. And then you're gonna go solid here, and they usually go for stuff like uh Ed and LHC and stuff like that. And MLV is really really good into all of those, right? But it's something like that for MLV. Like bulk is very, very important. If you play him slow, bulk is very, very important. And decretion is best. Decretion for artifact for sure. Okay, so SSV, artifact. Uh, symbol is best by far. If you don't have symbol, if you if symbol is on someone else, you don't want to use symbol on her. You can do Roy's artifact; it's pretty good too. And then, if you don't want to do any of those, you can do. I think Chatty is good, but Chatty needs a different build, so I'll cover that after. So the reason you go symbol or, uh, or Roy's artifact is that. Most of the time, when you draft uh, Vivian, it's gonna be into Adin or MLV. So Symbol gets a lot of value. Like Extra Hit gets a lot of value. And, uh, so yeah. But other than that, you can go Chatty. So now, so to build Vivian for turn two, I think Life Seal is best. Life Seal is really, really strong on her. You want her to be somewhat fast because if she gets slapped a lot, she's gonna she's gonna die. Like she's just gonna die. So you don't wanna get slapped too much. So ideally you want at least 185 speed, like 185 to 200 speed. ER is optional as usual, like you don't have to, it's nice to have, but it's optional. If you don't go ER, you go immunity, obviously, but I like ER a lot, so I go ER. At least 11k HP, like mine is too low right now, at least 1.1k defense. And then as much damage as you can, I wouldn't go below 4k attack, 250 crit damage. And then you prioritize attack over crit damage because she already boosts her own crit damage. So you go attack over crit damage. So yeah, that's how you build her. 
Yeah, now we're gonna do, if you want to build around Shati, I think it's decent, you want zero HP. The reason being that Shati gives you, Shati isn't that good on here, like let's be real, you still lose your stacks even with Shati, right? So Shati is okay, but if you go Shati, you want zero HP. To make up from the, like, it's give, like, Shati gives you HP, right? Like you have a big barrier, so it gives you HP basically, so there's no reason to go for more HP. If you go Chatty, you go like base HP, so like no HP of anywhere, anywhere, anywhere on your gear, so like 8k HP, 1.1k defense still at least, and then full damage. That's uh, how you build Chatty Vivia. And I will go a bit faster if you go Chatty too, because you need to cycle your barrier, so I will go like at least 100 speed. And then when to drop Vivia, uh, she's a bit similar to Roy, she's really bad into high tempo. She's really, really bad into high tempo, and she's really good into low, like low tempo, low damage teams. So if someone, go, if someone goes like um, knight supports plus like apoc or MLV, like a combination of like apoc, MLV, Spectre, Milim, Adin, stuff like that, she's really, 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 really strong. Like she's gonna kill the entire team really fast by herself. Alright, um, yeah, I think we're gonna stop here. <laughs> My throat hurting to hurt a lot. Uh, I'll just show you my unit if you want a reference. So for the rest of eight years, so this is my pork. I mostly draft her into like this is a very only against aggro cleave. I draft her against flan mostly. Like yeah, I have ER, I have immunity, so uh, this is my pork, this is my area. So this is hyper carry area, and then I have support area, which is like that. And support area you draft against like end guy, Arwell, Apoc. Like some people were doing that was really annoying, so yeah, she, she's a good answer to that. Aria, then Senior I showed her earlier, I think, but here you go. Charlotte, um, I don't like this, but you can. I think sunglasses are best, but my, yeah, they're on the other Charlotte, so. And ideally you want more defense than HP, so I need to mod stuff. Like ideally I need to mod this to defense, and this to ER. But it's a bit, yeah, like yeah, I don't care enough, I don't draft her a lot. So I don't care either. Uh, Tissurine. Tissurine you want at least to 200 speed. Like if you if you can, you can go, if you can, I'd go faster, but at least 200 speed and then full damage. And yes, relax, okay. I'll feed you in a bit. You know you're insane, right? Aye, aye. Yeah, Ed, I think injury is best for Ed by far. Like, I think if you want to play Ed, Injury is best in slot by far. But I still don't think Ed is that good if you play slow. But if you, if you do want to play him, I think Injury is, is best by far. Like, no one is gonna draft in a way where they're gonna get slowed by Ed at this point. At this point, so... <clears throat> now, ideally you want him, like, I think like 200 to 210 speed. And then you want a bit more damage and a bit more bulk. Like this is this is garbage build. This is a garbage build. Like this is no imprint and this is I overcap crit by like fifteen percent here. So yeah, like this is garbage. I just don't draft it. So I figured I'm gonna try this build out to to because I don't draft him anyways. But I don't like him on injury either. I just don't like him overall. But if you want to play him, play him injury. Like it's much better. I think best landing right now is fast on getting light. Like full damage on getting light. So you can go between 220 and 270 speed. And you go full damage on getting light, even if you play slow. Even if you play slow. I don't think you're gonna draft her anywhere else. So yeah, 220 to 270 speed, full damage. On getting light. I think this is the best build. I think Anders can die useless right now. I really like this build. I really, really like this build. Uh, you can build her on um, Abigail's artifact, it's really good too, but yeah, this is fine too. And this is basically portrait, right? I really like this build, you just one tap stuff like Spectre and such, and it's really high damage, so... It's good when you get solid DR too. Uh, LQC... Yeah, this is standard LQC build right now. I just, I think you go lower damage and, like, she's gonna get buffed, right? Her damage getting buffed, so you go lower damage and more bulk. Like, I think you can go like 1.7k, 17k after the buff. So yeah, LQC, you don't have to go here, I like it, but you don't have to. Uh, this is standard adding build. Like, you want, you want her to be somewhat tanky, and then you want this artifact, because you always, almost, sorry, you almost never draft Adin if you play slow. 
you mostly only really draft turn into stuff like um apoc pirate flag so yeah this is best by far yeah and that's it for today